just does not have a clue on how to run it off. Luke Getsky should be fired. He should be fired today. I'll stand by you. My God. Bro, you got smoke. Welcome to Phase Fantasy Live with your host, Lonnie Z. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. This is Phase Fantasy Live. I'm your host, Lonnie Z. And along with me today on this beautiful Monday afternoon is Jake Hansen. What's going on, Jake? How you doing, What's brother? going on? What's going on, Lonnie? First week Man, in. Now we got the recap. Right? It's uh, kind of a crazy week. It was yes, kind sir. of a crazy week, like it always is. Like the mm-hmm. first week, you just never know what's going to happen. A lot of crazy things happen this year. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Um, when we do our recaps, we're not going to go through every single game like we did in the past, but we're just going to give you the highlights and some of the important, the important stories and storylines from the week. Uh, so that's how we're going to approach it. We're going to get right into it though. We are going to start with the Ravens and chiefs game. And probably one of the biggest things that came out of that game to me was one, we were wrong. We thought that the Ravens would come in and win and they almost did. It was a very competitive game, but we, we did not see Isaiah likely becoming the story of that game. We both hit on Rasheed Rice and worthy. They both did great. We think that For the long term, they're going to be very fantasy relevant, you know, those two receivers. Mahomes looked good still. Kelsey, I said he's going to decline. I think he's declining. I I don't know if they're using him right. I don't know. He just didn't look too too great. He looked a little slow. Uh, But Andrews and, and Likely, so I think they have a problem as far as how they're going to run that offense. And if you drafted Andrews early, you may be in trouble because Likely is really good. You know, mm-hmm. so, uh, yeah, I think um, Andrews the last couple of years is uh, slowing down. Andrews, you could tell, you know, just a little bit. You know, he's still uh, a great, you know, a, a, a great pass catcher and all that. But uh, you can tell it's slowing him down just being injured the last couple of years. Uh, yeah, um, Kelsey's looking really slow off his routes. He's yeah. he really is like really slow. You know, there were some some moves that he did, and he. And he juked the the defensive player, and I was still a surprise. Like, man, just like really slow. Um, the Chiefs have a lot more weapons now. You know, now when uh, Marquise comes back, and they have Worthy. You know, and and uh, uh, and I think uh, Worthy's going to get an uptick in uh, in uh, touches. You know, uh, throughout the year. And uh, Baltimore is just you know like I was telling you, uh, it, it it's just like. You know when you went to the store with mom and you asked mom, hey, can I get a dime or can I get 15 cents? And you get that bouncy ball out of the machine and you go in your room and you just throw it as hard as you can and just boom, 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 bounce all the way around. That's Lamar Jackson. <laughs> That's Lamar Jackson, man. He's standing there. I swear to you, he probably missed 15 throws that game. And he and he did, hit, you know, and then he did it on his legs, but he's going to get beat up. I mean, man, like yeah. he was running and I thought it was a Henry at first and then it's him. He ran a right. lot. He tried to do a he he tried to win the game by himself, and I think that's what hurt him. He missed at the last at the last two minutes, he missed three throws in the end zones, or two, at least two, on exactly. that corner route and the and the one that flowers is wide open. He's just he's not being accurate right now. And and that's the bad thing about him. If he didn't have legs, he would not be a great top ten quarterback. But his legs yeah. are making him a top five, top ten quarterback, and he he has to relax a little bit, you know, and and uh, maybe give Henry the, the a chance to show what they can do, but you know, to uh, be a little bit better. But yeah, yeah, I, I was a little surprised, but I think Lamar needs to just he needs to uh, just bring it down a little bit and uh, hit his receivers a little bit better. Yeah, you know, I agree. You know, I think that with. Um with the uh, the with the Ravens um their offensive game plan just it, it, for for what they have talent wise they mm-hmm. don't seem like they're using that right and Todd Munkin he's going to have to reevaluate something because um I don't know I'm with you I think Lamar didn't look so good he was off he was missing targets he did miss guys in cl- clutch time he did not show up and but that's kind of been Lamar over the years. Yep. He's more of a front runner than he is a clutch, whereas Mahomes is both. Exactly. When it comes crunch time, 
Mahomes, that's the guy you want in there because he's going to make that throw. He's going to. Mm -hmm. So, you know, very entertaining, though. I think both of them will still have good seasons this year. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But the, you know, with me, though, it's like with the Ravens, like you lost and uh, they were a little sour after the game. You know, like everybody was shocked that they turned that 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 uh, last play over that touchdown. His foot was clearly out of bounds. Yeah. I mean, his his toes were out of bounds. So everybody yeah. was they said they were surprised and Lamar had a little sour taste his mouth likely he's talking crap about the chiefs but it's like you can't do that when you guys lost twice against them in the last two games the last two games you guys played them your your last two games you guys have played have been the chiefs both times you guys have lost both times there's no, the, you can't talk you can't right. talk and you know? and the one before that they lost at home and they lost in at home and they choked. yeah exactly you right? can't talk so, yeah. and and that's one thing i don't like with players now they're you now now lamar and if Lamar if Lamar keeps doing that this year, nobody's gonna look more like him because it's like, dude, you, you you lost, move on. Yeah, yeah, it is a pretty tough, a uh, pretty tough game uh, for Lamar and for the Ravens. Uh, okay, the first game in Sao Paulo or Sao Paulo, Brazil, happened. Um, the field was trash. It's funny, whenever we go out of the country, guys are slipping around and falling and on trash soccer fields, you know, they don't know how to make these fields for American football, but it, it that's whatever. Story out of that, great game, really entertaining. 29-34, um, Eagles get the win. Jalen Hurts looked okay. He had some rust, but he looked all right. Uh, he had a good fantasy day, um, but he's kind of salvaged it towards the end. But the big story, obviously, is is you know Jordan Love goes down trying to make a play the end of the game, bring his team back, and he's going to be out for a few weeks um, with the sprain uh, MCL. I think it is. Is that three what it is? Sprain. Yeah, but they spread it out pretty far. They said three to six. Yeah, so that's going to really be problems for the Packers and the owners and of the Reed Watson. Yeah, yeah. Musgrave, if you, Dobbs, because that's Malik Malik Will, Willis is not the answer. If they go out and get Tannehill, then you can have some stability because I think he can work within the framework of that offense. But that's going to be tough for them, and hopefully Love recuperates and recovers quickly because he looked good, man. Jordan Love. I mean, we had questions. Remember, you mm -hmm. asked me, "Hey, you think mm -hmm. he's going to?" I said, "Yeah, he's a good player. He's going to." Mm -hmm. He looked good. He looked every bit the part. He looked he like a leader. Jaden Reed looked good. Mm -hmm. um, once again, Christian Watson is still trying to figure out mm -hmm. the timing and stuff with him. But if he stays healthy, he's going to get better as the season goes. But the Packers are in trouble without Jordan Love. That is for Ooh. sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, owners of Josh Jacobs are going to be rough because they're going to man the yeah. box. Uh, Malik Wallace is a is a un, unaccurate quarterback. And, uh, you know, I mean, but there's players out there, like you said. There's a lot of players that he could, they could try to go get. There's, there's a lot of backups out there. Like, if they tell you that he's going to be out for six weeks, then you need to try to trade for somebody because you have a right. good team. Like, why would you not try to get somebody? You're going to try to run it with Malik Wills. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess maybe try the first game and go from there. But it's a little, it's a little, uh, you know, it's a shock for everybody. So you know, maybe they're 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 going to figure it out. Give him another week. So yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. a great game. Hurts looked a little rusty, you know, like everybody else. Uh, AJ looked great, you know. Uh, Saquon went off. Saquon, he 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 fits perfect in that offensive scheme. But uh, you know, we we're pretty much in our assessment of that game. We pretty much were hitting it mm -hmm. pretty good. Other than this, we thought we thought Green Bay we, would no, win. We, no, no, I we we I said well, we I picked Philly. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't we know. Didn't I think know. I picked Philly. I think, I, we picked... but I picked the under. Remember, yeah. I picked yeah. the under on that game, and it, it turned out to be over. They scored more than I thought they would. Yeah. Both teams, it but was, it was a very it entertaining was... game. Yeah. Hey, so the Dallas Cowboys, they go into Cleveland. We thought that this was kind of a, a tough game. Would be a defensive battle once again. Went the under on it, and I think I would have missed that too. Thirty-three seventeen. But bro, Mike, my, my concern with them was what is their defense going to look like? And I forgot, and I shouldn't forget because this is what I do, right? I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't forget these things. But I forgot they hired Mike Zimmer, baby. 
that Zim is an old school, hard knocks, hard nose defensive coordinator. And they have not skipped a beat. They lost a lot of pieces and stuff, but they got digs back. They looked every bit the part. And Deshaun Watson looks uh, bad, bro. He looks know, bad. You know what? Like I was watching that game and uh and and he doesn't even look like he wants to be there. Yeah. He doesn't even look like he wants to be there. Like, like I was watching it and somebody was sitting there watching with me and I looked at him. I think it was my wife. And I said, you know what? That guy does not. I said, how can somebody that had all the talent in the world just do this because yeah. of, because of you're off for one year? Like really? And uh, Mike Zimmer, it's like, it's that Turner effect. It's that North Turner effect. You know, it's, it's the great coordinator, not great head coach and uh, i think that's what it is with zimmer too he's a great coordinator and now he's looking at dallas's defense they didn't miss a beat since uh dan quinn left and uh dallas dallas played the you know uh, we didn't you know we thought it was gonna be a defensive game and, and Dak got his bag and they they played a good game the running game was a little you know zeke had what 30 something yards nothing crazy yeah. but but uh, dallas zeke Zeke looked all right too. He looked, <laughs> he looked right. like he had a little little pep back in his step. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. you know maybe the right, but, uh, Cleveland scenery. just looked bad. Cleveland they looked did. bad on both sides of the ball, man. They just. Uh, I know we're going to talk about this, but uh, Najoku hurt yeah. out six weeks, four to six weeks. That, it's like just Cleveland went to straight. It's like you know what? Like after this year, you're just going to have to eat that money and just let him go. And bro, that's let that's him go. when we did our tight ends, with Watson rankings, our tight ends rankings. That was one thing we were both concerned with with Njoku. We said he was a top ten tight end, or could have been a top ten mm -hmm. tight end, but it's just the injury. He's always hurt. So yeah. Oh, and um, then we're talking about Dallas. So uh, uh, let's just say it now because they're both on there. Uh, Jake Ferguson's out. They say week to week, but he has an MCL sprain also, so he's out for probably about two to three weeks. They said so. You know, I know yeah. we were going to wait till later, but I mean, we're both no, talking no, about no, these we're good. games. We're on the game. Mm -hmm. So Ferguson's out. And then now the joke goes out. So that's two tight ends you try to get. So if there's so so the two tight ends that I see everywhere, likely, and uh, Parkinson's from uh, the Rams. So that's like probably the best pickups right now, or uh, yeah. Foster and, and, Moreau. And, and, and with likely, there's no guarantee that it's and going to be his week every week. Nope. And the you same with uh, Jawan Johnson and uh, Foster Moreau yep. with the Saints. There's two tight ends yep. there. So there's not a lot out there. There's there, yep. as, at all. Um, Tight ends are hard. Kincaid, we're going to talk about Kincaid in a little yep. bit, but if, if you had him, you're worried. Um, mm -hmm. Dad got paid, man. What do you think about that? It's $60 million, the $60 million man. You know, uh, I you think know? it's a little high. I think it's a little high for a guy that hasn't won a playoff game. You know, Jalen Hurts went to, to the Super Bowl. Pat Mahomes took the Super Bowl. Uh, Josh Allen's been winning. Joe Burrow took him to the Super Bowl. Brock Purdy hasn't got paid yet. Took him to the Super Bowl. Um, Jay, uh, Dak has not took him to the Super Bowl, has not won a playoff game. So he deserved money, but I didn't think he deserved $60 million. See, I'll, I'll, push back, I'll push back on that a little bit. I think he deserves, he deserves I, I, I think he deserves what he got because Jerry Jones is a businessman. He's looking at next year it's going to be more. And the near, well, it's going to well, be more. So he's trying well, to lock him in Well, now. that's true. You know, I mean, yeah, you're right. Because and, and, and that here's contract is, is going to be the third best contract next year because well, there's yeah, going to be two other sure. quarterbacks better. So yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And, and you have to look at it like this too. Yeah, mm -hmm. he hasn't gone to the Super Bowl, but the way Jerry Jones manages that team, he has his hands in a lot of stuff and messes up their chances of advancing sometimes. So I but think he Dak has done everything. Game, everything he yeah, but that it takes a whole team. It's not I just know, the quarterback. Their whole team, you know, know, chokes when it comes to those times and mm -hmm. let's just face it they've had some really tough playoff opponents like right off the bat the niners in week one that ain't you know that's not a, a easy task for and they're or the Eagles and they and, and the way they played know, yesterday they played good like they but did they played good last year dallas played good last year they did they smoked they, teams last year you know but yeah. they look good this past week and and uh, when they play the eagles this year it's going to be tough and and mm -hmm. when they play games like that like you know uh, Washington didn't look as good as I thought they were going to yesterday, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what's up. Yeah, Washington looked week. about what I thought because I don't believe in – just yeah. like you said, just like you just said, some coordinators are better coordinators than head coach. Dan Quinn is that guy. He is Washington. not a good head coach, and he mm -hmm. won't be, and Washington is not going to be a good team. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll have their moments. 
But you put him and <laughs> Cliff Kingsbury together? Yeah, that's not a, a recipe to get you to a Super Bowl. Okay, Sam Darnold and the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I was kind of high on Darnold coming into this game. He didn't do the fantasy thing that uh, I was looking for. But, mm -hmm. man, I had, I had said before that all he needs to do, he doesn't have to be great. He just has to be good in that system. And he was. He was good enough. Uh, he didn't he turned he had one interception but he really took care of the ball he got the ball out of there quickly he, he hit his targets and the vikings got a big road win but man on the other side the giants looked horrible bro daniel jones man he looks he looked pretty bad he looked bad the giants offense looks bad dable's on the hot seat for sure the vikings defense looked good but they had to look good against that offense if they didn't then they they would have been but they you know, they did 21 fantasy points. They look good. Um, and neighbors, first game ever. I mean, what do you expect? Mm -hmm. You know, Daniel Jones is your quarterback. So I thought I thought Darnold looked look good, and hopefully they'll just keep that kind of rolling. I'm not saying he's great or anything. I just say he, he got the job done like he needed to. No, uh, yeah, you just need, you know, you need a quarterback just to, to get you through the game. You know, like the Brad Johnsons and the Trent Dilfers and, Hopefully, it doesn't happen to Case a couple Keenums. other Case Keenums and stuff like that. You know, um, it's just you know, it's like like Brock Purdy. I think he's a little bit above that, but you know, he like he just great with that system, right? So, um, if you if they could just stay defense solid and and they have a they have you know two great receivers, they have one great receiver, one good receiver, great tight end coming back in about three weeks, so they have a good running back. You know, if they keep just staying the way they are, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be good. Yeah, and on another note, uh, to just wrap that up um, with the Giants-Vikings game, Addison got hurt again. He re-aggravated that injury. Uh, he's supposed to be having some tests run today. They're, they're saying he avoided a serious injury, but we don't know yet. But if you drafted him, you're going to have to plan accordingly. Uh, he was already starting off looking pretty good. He had 35 yards um, when he left the game. But let's talk about some young quarterbacks and because and, there's a lot of hype around a lot of quarterbacks, Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Bo Nix. I mean, these guys all started games this week and uh, their first NFL debut. You know, I thought Caleb for all the hype and, you know, we did a hype video on him and I think he's going to be fine. But he was he had 90 something yards passing. He didn't look comfortable. Defenses got after him. The, the Bears' offense looked flat. Uh, it once again reminded me of the Bears' offense. Uh, mm -hmm. Not very good. They have all these pieces around them, but they just couldn't figure out how to do it. Their defense looked great. Saved them. They won um, the yeah, – yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Caleb, uh, I was a little disappointed in his, in his debut. Um, what was your take on Caleb? He didn't do what I thought. I thought he was going to score 20. I, I said that a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. He did That's, not yeah. at all, at all. Uh, Tennessee blew, blew the game more than Chicago won the game. Chicago's defense won the game. Uh, Will Levis made some bad mistakes last you know, couple series down at the end. And uh, Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, so so uh, Tennessee could easily won that game. Caleb was, you know, like he said, hey, you know, it's, I got to get better. I mean, it was my first game, and uh, we'll go from there. He didn't look good. Nobody, had, I don't think anybody on that offense looked as good as we thought they were going to. We thought there was going to be a couple. Swift, nowhere to be found, and and that's what I thought. I thought I don't think Swift, like uh, Roshan Johnson, was inactive. They didn't even have him playing. So the Bears' offense did not even look the way that we thought they would look. You know, we thought they would look a little better, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Jaden Daniels yeah. with Washington took him a little bit to get going, but he had a you know what he, he ran for a lot. <laughs> it wasn't over ninety yards or something. Two touchdowns, all get you know. So he was you know you know Cliff Kingsbury had him going. So he uh, he took a little bit. He looked all right, but Washington couldn't keep up with Tampa Bay and uh, Bo Nix had a tough time in Seattle. He had a rough time. Yeah, yeah Bo Nix um, looked like a quarterback that was trying to. You know, that thought it was still in college where you could make those tight throws mm -hmm. and guys don't get to the ball. 
but not in the NFL, baby. They they get to those balls in the NFL. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Jaden, of all of them, I thought Jaden looked the most poised. Mm -hmm. He looked like he was just out there and comfortable. He looked like he was comfortable. Um, he ran the ball, passed the ball. I think he'll be fine as long as he stays healthy. Uh, another young couple of young quarterbacks we could throw in there, Anthony Richardson, elite. Yeah. I, I just have to – that's the word. He's an elite fantasy quarterback. If he stays healthy, if you drafted him, you're going to be fine in that quarterback position because he's going to make plays. Those throws, that one throw to Alec Pierce mm -hmm. off his back foot for like 80 – it seemed like it was like 100 yards. It was a. It was. I, I saw a stat. It was like the third longest since they started tracking these air air yards. You know, uh, since they started tracking the the stat in twenty, uh, you know, sixteen or whenever they started yeah. tracking those stats. But man, this guy looks every bit the part. Um, they really have themselves uh, a, a bona fide quarterback there. Um, and then on another quick note. Kirk Cousins, we talked about Cousins needing, mm -hmm. you know, having to get some of that rust off. He didn't look too good. Uh, nope. That Steeler defense kind of came in and and put it on him a little bit. You know, as we get into a little bit of that game with that Steeler defense, they looked good, man. Tomlin had them playing. T.J. Watt is a beast. I mean, we all know T.J. Watt's a beast, and and he he reminded us that he's a beast. But yeah, uh, Cousins is going to have to. He looked like he did about three, four years ago before, you know, mm -hmm. when he was still getting comfortable with the Vikings and stuff. Um, he looked slow in the pocket. It just sucked that it was the first game, his first game back was against Steelers. Like, Steelers defense, I I knew it was going to be a good game. It was going to be a close game. That game was, like, first one of 20 wins. Like, Steelers are not going to score touchdowns this year with the way they are. E e even Justin Fields came in, and gosh, almighty, man, like, is is Russell going to be better than that? Like honestly, no. like we talked about this last no. on our last podcast. Like we were like we're like what is going to happen? Like that is bad. That is yeah, bad. They, and there goes the speculation of Dak Prescott going to the Raiders or Pittsburgh because he just got his bag. So yeah, this is it. I mean, I don't. The starting quarterback for 2025 for the Pittsburgh Steelers is not on their team right now. That's it. They got good defense. I, Their defense is going to win them games. The Falcons, I hope they pull out of it next week. Uh, Pitts finally start getting, you know, he he looked like the tight end that he when he started. You know, they did give him the ball a little more, but Jean looked better. But they played a good defense. Let's, you know, let's see about next game. But uh, Kirk looked rusty, looked slow, bad throws, just, just throwing off his back foot, just throwing it. So, yeah, Kirk Cousins did look bad. He didn't look good at all. And, you know, it is, it is what it is. The Falcons as a team didn't look good. They didn't look good offensively. Uh, defense, they looked all right. But against that offense for Pittsburgh, any defense should look all right. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of surprised. Um, what about the new look Texans? I'm, I'm, uh, I hope he doesn't think too much, C.J. Stroud. I hope Diggs doesn't get in his ear. I hope he doesn't look out there and see – too many weapons and, and and just freeze up. It's probably it's probably kind of weird me saying that. Maybe some people are probably be thinking why are you saying that, but just play like you did last year, you'll be fine. Like a Nico went off, right? A Diggs only had what fifty yards. We had two touchdowns. Dell didn't have a Dell game. Just just throw who's open. Don't you know if they don't get if they have good chemistry and nobody gets a big head and I have to have the ball, they're gonna be. They're gonna be fine, but yeah, you know, he looked a little rusty yesterday, though. Too, he looked a little off. He looked off. He did. Um, I like Joe Mixon. Joe uh, Mixon. It could went just off. be. It, it could just be the first game, new team. Mm -hmm. But if they use him like that, I think Joe still has that in the tank to give you that kind of performance on a weekly basis. You know where he's gonna mm -hmm. be a bona fide fringe RB one uh, for sure, RB two. You know, uh, in 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 your fantasy lineup. I mean, you run them out there every week. You know what I mean? Well, um, well. Do you think so, though? Do you think this is not just a one week flash, and then next week? No, gonna because they're gonna they're gonna then... use they're gonna use them all the time. Yeah. They're they're really incorporated. That's why I call. That's why I'm saying the new look 
because I don't think they're just about only passing now. No, I think well, now yeah. they're thinking we can run and pass, mm -hmm. and so we're going to kind of mix it up. I think D'Amico Ryan's is smart enough to incorporate yeah. that, kind of like the Niners. I mean, he comes from the Niners system. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously he's on the run, defensive pass. side of that, right. but he he saw Shanahan run that, and they mm -hmm. they run and pass, and they do it all. They you know you'll see Tank Dell doing end rounds and things mm -hmm. like that. Tank Dell will suffer a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and I don't think if you drafted Tank Dell, you're probably going to have to put him on your bench and pick your spots to put him in the in your lineup because unless Diggs or Nico go down, he's he can have some of those big games, but you just never know when they're going to happen. You know what I mean? So you can't count yeah. on him on a weekly basis. Um, it, I the mean, Texans? It sure helps them to have a running back because you can see how deadly they are when they have a running back that could catch and run in the backfield. Pierce, oh, for Pierce, sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it looked – Pierce didn't do that for yeah. him last year. And uh, with Mixon, it's going to make them a lot harder to stop. Yeah, and I think Mixon this year has a little chip on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. So it might it might help him a little bit. I think if you have him, you may have caught a little lightning in about a four season, mm -hmm. you know, or at least eight games or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At least especially the beginning. Um, Buffalo <laughs> – bro, what's up with, with Buffalo, bro? Say what, it. the buff the Buffalo Allens is is yeah. what is what I'm yeah. calling this because yeah. they're not the Buffalo Bills, bro. They're not the Bills. They're if you look at their stat line across the board, I think um I think Keon Coleman had four receptions that led all their receivers in receptions. And and they're they're trying to say, oh, he was distributing the ball, getting the ball around at a, to these no name receivers, bro. He's not. Josh Allen is everything to the Bills to a fault like they get inside the 20 not even inside the five bro inside the 20 he starts running and trying to hurdle people and get in the end zone and all that's not a that's not a recipe for success they've proven that and they have one of the most talented young tight ends i don't think they know how to run an offense to be honest with you cooks looked good yesterday yeah he, had, he looked a lot better yeah he had like seven yards brushing and yeah some catches yeah. and stuff so so cooks looks like he's getting mm -hmm. finally getting comfortable in the nfl which is great because he looked really i thought he looked real good i know he only had 70 yards but i thought he looked really good mm -hmm. but i just don't know about their offensive philosophy and their defense <laughs> didn't look so great either it, uh i don't know josh allen's a quarterback quarterback is the ball to the receivers and it was looking like Lamar did on on Thursday. Like, give me the ball and I'm going to win this game. Yeah, but but Josh Allen has a better arm. Has a I mean, he's a better quarterback than Lamar Jackson passing wise. Yeah, passer passing wise. Mm -hmm. But it's like use it, man. Like uh, Keon Coleman made it look good. I mean, you know, the first half was Josh Allen, and they and he couldn't do it. Second half, he started throwing more. Kincaid, I think, had two catches, but then. Coleman start getting in, and Shakur got in a little bit. That's how he got his touchdown in the second half. So he start passing at the end. So, but but it, it took a f whole first half for the offensive coordinator to go in the locker room to say that though. I mean, it, it took a yeah. whole first half to walk in there to to look at tape to see that you guys are not passing the ball. I don't get that. Like, I, I mean, you're right. Like, you were playing a bad defense. Like you were paying exactly. a bad defense. The second half, you guys dominated the Cardinals' defense. Or defense, you they they, the Bills dominated them. You got, I mean, you only had three points going in the second half, and then all of a sudden you're up by ten, or by eleven, and then you you know you do some stupid stuff, but you know that kick return. But you're right. You have the you have one of the best talented tight ends in the league, and you don't use them. It's unreal to me, and maybe that's why the problem was with Diggs. Maybe that's what it was. There's something there, and and we said it before. Is it Diggs or is it the Buff the Buffalo Allens? Straight up. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they don't know how to use receivers. Maybe everything's just all about Josh, and that's what it looks like so far. And now that it starts me really rewinding his career, and it's always been like that, I guess. All about McDermott. Josh Allen. And uh, maybe he needs a shakeup. Maybe Josh Allen needs somebody new. Yeah, because they don't have enough weapons around them, and when they do get them, they don't even use them. So, I just want to say one thing, Dean, or uh, I just want to say McDermott. 
don't be Arthur Smith this year for Lonnie because you're going to hear it, brother. <laughs> right? Because he will be um, uh, he will be a short for sure. He will make it to my short it's, list. You, you know? <laughs> you're almost there, man. Dennis Allen almost made mine this week, but he but he did his thing. But I'm telling you, yeah, McDermott, don't be on, don't be the Arthur Smith of this year. Don't do it. Right? You guys have a right. talented quarter. You have the top two quarterback in the league, man. You, that yeah. should not happen. That should not happen. Right. Right. No, I, I agree. You know, um, Josh Allen, he only rushed for 39 yards. Kyler Murray rushed for 57 yards, five receptions, five rushing attempts, 57 yards. He had 162 yards passing and a touchdown. Kyler Murray, he didn't look bad to me. Um, I thought he looked okay. He brings energy to that offense. I just don't think they have much of an offensive game plan similar to Buffalo. It's just mm -hmm. like Kyler run here, Kyler run there, hand off the ball. James Conner, when he got the ball, looked good. He looked kind of fresh. He looked okay. Trey Benson, he had only three carries for 13 yards, but he looked all right. Um, you know, and they passed. Greg Dortch was their leading receiver. Six yeah. receptions for yeah. 47 yards. They didn't get the kid involved, you know, um, and I'm sure that they will. And I know everyone, the internet went crazy. Oh, he was wide open and Kyler missed yeah. him. Bro, Kyler was running for his life on that play, yeah, bro. Yeah. He just, you know, that's not, <laughs> those things are going to happen sometimes. But, um, uh, but, you know, I don't think their game plan is too good on offense either. I would like to see the Cardinals play one more game this week coming up, right? And I just want to see, but. There's a lot of talk of the Cardinals that squeaking in the playoffs out here for some reason. I I, I don't see them being more than a six game winning team. Um, not saying that they can't do it, but the but just watch them yesterday. The Bills should have blew them out. If the Bills would have did what they did in the second half and the first half, it would have been forty something to seventeen or twenty or whatever it was. It would have been bad. Yeah, Kyler yeah. couldn't hit, couldn't make a throw. He made a lot of out of bounds so he does that like a baseball throw and i just watch it he just slings it out of bounds slings it out of bounds it's like dude what are you doing like the last play of the game he throws it out of bounds like he's throwing it on the on the sideline like like the play calls you're right the play calls were crazy this week i don't know if, and and i think a lot of it has to do with him not playing in the preseason i think it has a lot to do with it he did not play one snap in the preseason and and it, and it showed the guy only had 150 yeah. yards. He only scored 15 fantasy points. Yeah. I mean, the Bills' defense is not good, Lonnie. There's no, so many no. injuries. They are not good at all. No, they're not. So, for for Harrison and then uh, McBride, his favorite target didn't do, do anything either. Had 30 yards. Yeah. So, Five for 30. I would like to see what they do against the Rams. I would love to see him get the Rams a – I hate to say that the Rams have a powerful offense than the Bills. Oh, because well, Josh, do. I know, but it, it's so hard to say that when Josh Allen is better than Stafford, younger than Stafford, but the Rams but have a better offense. I, I know, but the Rams have a better offense than the Bills, and we'll see what it looks like this weekend in Arizona. And if the Rams yeah. dominate the Cardinals, uh, there's going to be some talk. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Well, the Cardinals have a lot to figure out, and their fans out here are all <laughs> – I talked to several of them yesterday, and they're like, you know, but we look good. I'm I'm, I'm excited about – and I'm thinking, you they guys did not look, look good. good. They didn't, didn't look, look very good. good. I mean, you did all right going on the road and, and losing, you know, 28-34 and being having a chance to win. But uh, I think it was more the Bills just look bad than the Cardinals looking good. Young tight ends, that was the matchup of the young tight ends. And then they – Dalton Kincaid. Yep. Trey McBride, and I mean, what the heck? Kincaid, one reception for 11 mm -hmm. yards, McBride five for 30. So they got McBride involved a little bit more. But, well, man, I, I don't know. I'm worried about Kincaid, bro. I, I, you know what? Him. Just like that, just like I said, I want to see the Cardinals next week. I want to see the Bills and see because you have to use them. Like, why aren't you passing to your best receiver on the team? Like, why? Why aren't you using well, them? Why are you? I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, what the the, the stat from last season was when um, when uh, Joe Brady took over um, 
at the second half of the year for them because they fired their old offense coordinator, Kincaid's volume went down. Mm-hmm. And it looks like it's just, you know, continuing into the season. Maybe they don't value the tight end. Then why go out and spend such high draft capital, first round pick on that guy? When you had and, Knox. You had yeah. Knox and you go yeah, get And they that. still do. I mean Knox, what did Knox what did Knox do yesterday? I think he had Knox like a thirty yard catch. Had a had a better yeah, he's like one for twenty three, you know. I mean he had a better stat line. So anyway, young tight ends, um, those are the you know, those two guys and then uh it just uh I think Trey McBride has a, a more promising season ahead of him because I think the Cardinals will use him more mm-hmm. than Dalton Kincaid. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now, and, and you're right, let's just see how it goes. It's I'm not going to be one of those guys we're all worried about week one. But, hey, this is all we, we saw what we saw, and we get to evaluate what we saw. So I, I just, yeah, I, I just like out of – I just, you know – because there's certain teams this year that there's a couple quarterbacks that it's make or break this year, and yeah. Kyler Murray's one of them. And I, yeah, if he doesn't, he's he's gonna have to be gone with all that money, for sure. And you know that's the talk big time right now. And that's I I just like to see like when they play the Rams, I just would like to see that. I just I just want to see how they look. Yeah, and the same with Kincaid, um, and the same with a couple other games teams out there, you know. Mm-hmm. Like Atlanta, A- Atlanta, that was not Atlanta. Chicago, that was not the teams that, you know, the hype that was coming in. So we'll see. No. You know who was not hyped at all this year in the offseason and was a second thought? I mean, you and I had not mentioned his name one time in any podcast and any uh, through the offseason. None of that. We had not mentioned this guy. We talked about more about Adonai Mitchell, who was, I will say, the rookie Adnai Mitchell was wide open a lot. Yep. He had separation and Richardson just missed him. Missed him. Right? He missed him on a deep <laughs> he missed him on a deep route on the on the sideline. He had a probably 80 yard touchdown catch. Oh, for sure. 100%. And he missed him by like five yards. 100 percent I could not believe but, it. He was wide but, open, missed him five yards. Right? He overthrew him. Yeah. Overthrew him. Uh, well, he has Alec to I mean, with that boy, he better. But that boy, he better throw it deep because that boy is fast. Yeah, yeah. But Pierce went. For sure. Pierce, Pierce, Pierce showed up last year at the end of the season, and he he's up showing up the, early yeah. this season. Uh, the long out. ball, and he's catching it like yeah. that contested catch that he made. That fifty-two yarder was 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 good, and then then the bomb, you know, the the touchdown. That was a uh, that was just a beautiful throw, beautiful catch. So Alec Pierce, I would say, if he's going to be their wide receiver too, go get him in waivers. He's okay to pick up, especially with if they're going to be slinging it around like that. You might as well just pick him up, sit him on your bench, and well, just Downs, see how they're going to use him. And well, you know, Downs, Downs is coming is back. Still, I mean, he's coming back, so we'll see. So if Downs comes back, then it does cloud. You know, it does crowd up that receiving room because you have Mitchell, you have Pierce. And then they had another guy uh, who slipped my mind right now who's got a touchdown. Dolphin. Yeah. Dolphin. And, and, Dolphin. Yeah. So, you know, but Alec Pierce, man, maybe all the hype, because he had a lot of hype coming into the league, mm-hmm. just hadn't lived up to it. So he may be able to solidify himself as that number two. Only time would tell, but he's off to a good start. Uh, I think we talked about the Bears defense when we talked about the Bears. They look elite. They look really good. Mm-hmm. But part of that too, they're just they look opportunistic, I guess you could say, because part of that was Will Levis did not have a good game. No, and so, bro, you can't just throw the ball to the. He, what was he thinking on that last one? Yeah, I can't. Believe I mean, that. we had we had the Bears and fan and daily, yeah. so we loved it. You know, mm-hmm. the twenty six points, we'll take that. But um, that's kind of like the Vikings Giants thing, where their defenses both look great, but against those offenses, they had to. Well, uh, the Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard. He looked good. Tony we Pollard. We talked about him. We we I think in this we, system he's going to be better, don't you? Tony looked way better, and uh, he didn't even really split with Spears. Spear, Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard. No, nope. we we've yep. been talking about him. Um, you know, Tennessee should have won that game, but uh, you know, mm-hmm. you know, uh, to jump back on the Bears defense real quick, the Bears are going to be playing Detroit, Green Bay, Minnesota. 
Minnesota's offense ain't, you know, I mean, they are, but you know, but yeah. those, but those other two, I mean, it's, you know, we'll see yeah. what happens. Well, without Jordan Love, it changes though. But it without Jordan Love, it changes big time. It, it, so it, it's, it's really Detroit. It's pretty. Green Bay's defense is going to have to keep him in the game. How about that? Yeah, because I don't. I, I, it's it's going to be rough. Malik and, Willis. And I don't if know he if that's going to happen. Malik Willis. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. Because a, a Jaden Reed, he is a little five out and then runs. You know, For five sure. out, boom, pet pass, catch, run, th- fifty yards. So that's what 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 was his touchdowns pretty much were run after the catch. So. It just sucks for yeah. that team, young team. That team had a lot of promise, and it, 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 if he misses the full six weeks, oh, it's, it's going to be, be rough. It's going to be tough. Yep, I, I feel bad for it. Opens the doors, opens the doors for it, other teams. Then in Vikings, the division, Vikings have a chance. Lions are already. The Lions look good yesterday. Their offense a little slow, but yeah, I was surprised with the Lions, man. Um, the Sunday night game, good game, very entertaining. They come up, they come away with the win. But they didn't use St. Brown, bro. Mm-hmm. I mean, St. Brown did not get used as much as I, I I figured that they had to use St. Brown because, you know, um, he's their number one guy and he, he's just their possession guy. He had three receptions. For th- that, that can't be right. Three receptions for 13 yards. That's not right. Is that what you got? That's I'm looking at ESPN right here. And Mom Ryan said three receptions, 13 yards. Five, six targets. Hmm. Three receptions for 13 yards. Amon Ra St. Brown. That uh, Porter had four for 45. Jameson Williams, five receptions, 121 yards. He sat on my bench in both my leagues. One it wasn't too. on purpose. Well, yeah, you I, had, I, I yeah. just missed to yeah. get him in. I had Chase Brown in there, but I was going to put Jameson. I thought I had Jameson in there. My bad. Uh, so it, it could cost me both my games. It could. Well, it would have been hard, have been I, hard I to start. Win. I have Jameson in one, too. And then my brother, he drafted Jameson. And, and you weren't going to start Jameson first week. It's Amen with St. Brown. And, and yeah, you're right. It's, it was only three receptions, six targets. Last year he was getting ten targets a game. He was getting thirteen. Yeah, I, he was getting ten receptions a game. And I'm sure he will again. But why in this game did he not? Did they not go after him more? That is kind of a and this I don't game know, that's a problem for me, man. In this game, you know, Cooper Cup looked like Cooper Cup. Puka got hurt, but but uh, before Puka got hurt, Cooper Cup was actually getting his. You know. Um, 14 receptions, 110 yards, a touchdown. Cooper Cup, like Cooper we, Cup. hey, we talked about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just we talked about it. Puka, just, I, I don't know. That's bad. Yeah, it was saying, that knee, man. He, he's I, they, been they, out I, with the knee, too. He's been out with the same knee injury. Yep. And that is bad because that's the last thing they need. And yeah, they have still, you know, Cooper, but, um, he's scheduled for, uh, to undergo, Testing today uh, is Puka Nakua, and they'll they'll have a, more information on that um, as the day progresses on what's going on with Puka. But it, it's pretty sad. There's something he wrong looked, if they're going to do MRI. There's something wrong because they said they have to figure out what's going on in his knee. Yeah, it's so deeper than up. what they, yep. they downplayed yep. it in the It's in deeper the, than uh, they downplayed it. Uh, I'm, yep. Yeah, but as a whole, both those teams look good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the Rams are are going to be contending for a playoff spot this year. I think they really are. Obviously, they have a great coach. He's still a great coach. But they looked really when it came time to them needing to stop the run at the end of the game, they couldn't do it, man. And Aaron Donald's absence really mm-hmm. showed up. It's just mm-hmm. in the attitude. I saw one of their linebackers, man, not even wanting to go and collide in the hole, like let the let it come to him and i'm like bro what this is the games on the line you gotta get your hat hat in there and it was just kind of a, i was just like wow they don't seem to have that attitude on defense uh that they once did mm-hmm. uh when donda was there when ramsey was there you know they don't have that attitude man and it's uh that that could be a, a real problem for them this year yeah yeah um that was the big worry i mean i think it it 
it hurt them more at the end of the game than it did did in the beginning of the game because that's when they really yeah. that's when they really put Montgomery and them in. I guess the Lions are going to run with Montgomery and Gibbs again. Nothing's going to change. I guess nothing's going to change. Sure. The and whole... they, you know, Gibbs Gibbs had eleven carries. Montgomery had seventeen, mm-hmm. but that's how it started last year. And Gibbs is coming off an injury. They may have had him on mm-hmm. a, on a count a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But he looked yeah. good. Yeah, he looked good. He looked good. He looked just good. with the St. Brown thing, you know, it could have just been the beginning of the year, just seeing what's up. But maybe they want to get yeah. Williams in more in there. But that's gonna be big if he keeps playing the way like that. Jameson keeps playing like that. That guy's electric, bro, that, man. That's how that kid plays, bro. That's yeah. how. It, I remember I remember breaking him down as a rookie and and one of the things that I noticed and I said in that very first video I ever made of this guy Mm -hmm. I said he has a stop and go that is like elite that does not and then it showed on that touchdown his he stopped and went (laughs) he was full sprint hit the brakes and then was back to full sprint again caused the separation there's a touchdown and that's just one of his his you know tailor moves that he just can stop and go so quickly. And DBs don't they don't have an answer for it. He's gonna be a problem, bro. He is gonna be a problem if he can stay mm-hmm. healthy because he got a little banged up too. Mm-hmm. So he's got to stay healthy. All right, well let's let's wrap it up with a couple of things. What do you think? Can they do it? Can the Chiefs three P? Mm. Can they be the first team? Do they have the the perfect mix with the quarterback that's hates to lose, like like a Montana, like a Brady? I mean, he's got all that mentality in him. He is a competitor, like a Jordan. You know, he's a competitor. And then they have the coach that just seems to have chemistry with this team. Do they have a shot? I mean, I don't want to get way ahead of it because it's week one, but. Can they three-peat? What do you think? Out of all the AFC West teams that we watched this week, there's no reason why they won't get to the Super Bowl unless something That's drastically true. changes. The Bills are not going to the play. The, the Bills, as of last week or as of yesterday, don't look like they're going to go anywhere unless it just drastically changes. Baltimore, Baltimore gets scared against Chiefs. I'm going to say it like, Lamar, he 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 cannot win the big. He cannot win the big game. Not, I, I can't. I'm not say that, but I, he 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 just the game plans change. It, it, it's you know what I mean like when they play the Chiefs, their game plans change for some reason. You know they play yeah. a certain way all year, like last year, and, and then they got to the playoffs. They stopped running the ball against the Chiefs. They stopped doing everything that they should have done. And then last game, they didn't run the ball like we thought they would with Henry. That's where they went and got him. So right. will they go to the Super Bowl? I right now, yeah, I see it. I mean, the Bengals. If they look, stay healthy. Yeah, they stay healthy. The Browns, the way the Browns look, I, you know, the Bengals look bad. Pittsburgh has no offense. Miami, Miami's just a scratch. You you don't know. Jacksonville's same. Jacksonville had that game. They threw that game away. The yeah. Chiefs are the the most all around best team right now, and Baltimore's number two in the AFC. And yeah, I. There's no reason why they wouldn't go to the Super Bowl, you know, at least get there. And they obviously they have the Niners number. They have the Niners number. <laughs> they have the Niners For some number. Reason. But, but that sounds know, crazy, but it's like no, the you're curse. Right. I mean, we, we yeah. saw our first overtime in the Super Bowl his, first in history mm-hmm. was last year. So the Niners are getting closer. But the Niners might, you, might kick that door in if they get there again. But if the, you look. Again. The uh, the Niners hasn't I mean, you know we're talking about you know the, the Jets we don't know how the Jets are going to look today the Jets are, I think are going to be a lot better defense yeah. offense the Jets stopped the Chiefs I don't know but I think out of yesterday out of watching I think the NFC had a better week Philly looked good looked all right Green Bay looked good until Jordan got hurt Dallas looked good Dallas looked really good the Lions you know they look good so yeah. They look better than, you know, so if the Chiefs go to Super Bowl, they're going to have a, a a a fight for, you know, a fight. But, yeah, you know, we'll see with the Jets and Baltimore and uh, Bengals. I, I don't see that. And the Bills, I don't see it either right now. Yeah. You know, um, right now, they got to be the, the odds on favorite to, to make it out of the AFC. 100%. 100%. For sure. They're, they're the most um, complete team. And with these new weapons – uh, only thing it takes a lot to to 
to repeat and it takes even more to three P uh, health is huge. So as long as they could stay healthy, they'll, they'll always have a shot. And as long as they have Mahomes, they, they will definitely have a shot um, to do that. And so, you know, um, that's about it. The, the only other things maybe uh, real quick is I thought AJ Brown looked good for fantasy owners. I think you're going to be fine. You know, you expect a lot out of AJ. I think you got that. And some of the elite uh, players, one thing that's kind of disturbing is um, you mentioned Cincinnati and uh, they didn't look like they had much of a running game. They didn't look like they had much of an offense. They didn't look like they had much of a team. Joe Burrow kind of looked flustered. Jamar Chase. I mean, you take T Higgins and Tyler Boyd out of that offense and then you just have Chase. Jamar, this is why you're not getting so far. You haven't got the bag that you want because you are not the leader and he's not half the leader that like a Justin Jefferson is to his team or even, um, you know, CD lamb came and looked good yesterday mm -hmm. still, you know, mm -hmm. so, and, and you can't blame it on a quarterback. He's got one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Joe Burrow throwing him the rock. And he was six for six. I mean, six targets, six receptions, I think is what Lamar, uh, Jamar's numbers were. So you can't really, you know, put it all on him, but it takes more than one player and he's pouting about his money. I just think it's highly unfortunate that Jamar Chase is focused so much on his money. He needs to focus on football. The money will come to great players. The money always comes. Look at Dak. He just got paid. Mm -hmm. Everyone's getting paid. He's he'll get paid. I think he should just shut his mouth, be patient, let his agent deal with that money stuff and just focus put his focus on the field because the Bengals need him, man. They look, they look bad. They should not have lost that game. And Hey, we got to tip our hat to new England, new coach Belichick's out the door and the Patriots get a win, you know, on the road, the, uh, the open to open the season. And I don't think they've opened the season with the win since Brady left, bro. So for that to happen, you know, Jared Mayo, Hey, Props, Mayo. Yeah, you know, Jacoby you, Brissett. Jacoby yeah, uh, Ramadre looked like like Ramadre that like we always think Ramadre should look. He under twenty yards. Good. I, I, yep. I mean, to me, it's like I don't know if I'm more shocked that the New England won, or I'm more surprised at how ball, the Bengals lost. And I don't know. Does that make right. sense to you? Like, like, yeah, it, like it the, does. Like, you know, like nothing. Like Burrow. 21 uh, to 29 164 yards and you know what look and i don't get these teams man i don't get these teams and we talk about it like baltimore needed a receiver this year they didn't do it they didn't get one cincinnati mike jacecki as you're tied in come on man yeah. yeah zach moss as your starting running back right i mean come on man i don't get that i don't get it i i just yeah. don't get it uh, you know, Moss didn't do too bad yesterday. He got he, he he I don't know. He he got like twelve fantasy points, but Chase Brown didn't look like the way that we thought either. He had a couple of carries and nothing. But but you have Joe Burrow and you know T Higgins should be back this week. They're saying or soon. But they had that that uh, that rookie that like the like thirty minutes before the game. Ilasova or Ila, Ila Voicia yeah. or whatever they were like, yeah. oh, I gotta pick him up, mm -hmm. pick him up, pick him up, put him on, put him on FanDuel DraftKings. He's gonna be one of the shockers. Thirty yeah. yards. Yeah. He was not. Yeah, yeah. He had three for twenty six and yeah, six twenty. Yeah, six he was. Targets. Yeah, he was not. You know, um, Zach Taylor is the offensive coordinator. Yeah, and he needs to figure something out, bro. Because Joe Burrow, if you look at Joe Burrow's line, it's it's twenty one of twenty nine, is not bad. That's mm -mm. you know, but the twenty nine part is bad because they didn't really establish a run either. Mm -hmm. So you can't only throw it twenty nine times and not have a dominant run game. <laughs> if you're throwing it twenty nine times with Joe Burrow, your run game better be off the charts that day. It better be like really a, you know a well oiled machine. But that wasn't the case. Zach Moss nine carries for 44 yards you know, chase brown and a touchdown chase brown three for 11 well I mean, new england's a guy. good hold on let's not take it away we just we just gave they are a mail some props to the patriots got a good run defense and, and they've had for the last couple of years so they do 
They but, do. And, and but 164 passing yards? Come on. This is Joe you? freaking Burrow we're talking about. <laughs> and this is another and one. Jamar and, Chase. <laughs> and this is another one. And this is another one that we're saying, let's see you next week. And and yeah, let, let's just see. For sure. You know, we could just be putting our, you know, we're just, we're just saying what we've seen, what it looked like. And if you watched all these games, if you looked at it, you're going to think the same thing. It's nothing that we're telling you that's any different. If you watched it, yeah. the eye test, that's, that's pretty much what you're going to see. It was just like, whoa, you know, so you can't be shocked. You know, there's nothing that's going to shock you. It's just a couple things that just didn't work out the way that we thought. Exactly. All right, let's let's close the show out with this real quick. Um, waiver wire, our waiver wire pickups for week one. Um, some targets that we can give everyone so they can go out and be looking at this waiver wire and seeing. Um, but we already talked about Alec Pierce, I think, is a, a good mm-hmm. target. If, if he's out there, go out there. If you're looking for a stream in defense, you now know you could probably stream – uh, opportunistic Viking defense, the Bears defense, they're already owned in most leagues. Mm-hmm. But the Viking defense may be floating around out there, so you could stream that. Mm-hmm. Um, what else you got on? on? Um, uh, you know, for like tight ends, but those two tight ends that got out is uh, likely uh, Parkinson's. Uh, with with uh, Nakua going out, like, like Lonnie said, uh, Alec Pierce. Um, that's, you know, look at that. Um there was a couple other uh, like running backs wise. There's not really any running backs that came out that that we don't already have that nobody already yeah. owns. To be honest, and Zach you know. Charbonnet, he's probably owned, but if he's not, you might want to get him, especially as a handcuff because you know Kenneth Walker is hurt. We don't know if he's going to miss time just yet. That has, they haven't come out with that uh, from the time we're recording this. We don't know that, um, but Zach Charbonnet, um, if he's if he's available. Ty and, Chandler, uh, if Ty Chandler's a free agent, if he's out there, maybe get Ty Chandler in there. He he uh he touched the ball a lot yesterday. So just in case, uh, just saying, if you have a hurt running back, Alec or uh, Madison from the from the uh, Raiders, yeah, he had he a lot of touch yesterday. yesterday. He looked good. Mm-hmm. And and and, and uh, here's another one, Bucky Irvin. He uh, led, yeah, he led the uh, Buccaneers with uh with rushing yards yesterday. But Rashad White had 75 receiving yards yesterday, though. So that's going to be a handcuff. That's going to be a toss-up every week. Next week, Bucky Irvin might only get four carries. And, and, you know, we don't know. But if you have a running back that got hurt, hurt, you know, that'd be a good one. Um, I have, like, the top scores for the week. Top Mm -hmm. quarterbacks of the week was Allen, Josh Allen, and Baker. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, there's another. Uh, if you're hurt, not quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He's available in most leagues. If he's there, yeah, you know, yeah, he's available in most leagues. So if he's yeah. there, I looked on my league that I had uh, Jordan Love that went out. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> uh, Joe Mixon, Saquon led the running backs this week. Jaden Reed and uh, Cooper Cup led the receivers, and Isaiah Likely and Forrest. Morrow led the tight ends. That's our week one recap. I'm Lonnie. He is Jake. Thanks for listening, and we will catch you on the next one.